Good morning and welcome to Facebook part two. Last week we did Facebook part one. I'm gonna do a brief summary of it. I'm not gonna do the class over. It is recorded and I'll show you where that is momentarily. Uh, but I do wanna give you guys a brief mortgage loan update. Uh, interest rates are still extremely low. Um, for example, yesterday we were locking people in at uh, 2.375 on a 15 year fixed and 2.625 on a 30 year fixed. So I mean, those are, those are without down payment assistance. And then you guys need to understand, ladies and gentlemen, you need to understand that IDA is still one of the hottest products out there. It stands for the Illinois Housing Development Authority. If you have a client that's buying a home under 300, and $26,000, IDA is available to them. They will get either $6,000, $7,500, or they will get $10,000 in down payment assistance. Um, that's a huge benefit to both first time home buyers and to existing homeowners. It is not just for those that are first time home buyers. Uh, the only requirement is, or three requirements. One, they must have a 640 or better credit score. A lot of people have that. They must make less than $109,200. I know a lot of people who make less than $109,200. And last but not least, then they must come up with only 1% of their own funds. So again, on a $200,000 home, they have to come up with $2,000. On a $300,000 home, they must come up with $3,000. 1% is far less than the 3.5% that they would have to come up with if they were doing uh, without down payment assistance. If they were doing an FHA loan, the minimum down payment is 3.5. Uh, this helps many, many a person become a homeowner. It usually turns out that they are paying less out of pocket than they would for their first month's rent and security deposit. So saying it a different way, if you're at all a leasing agent and you're putting people into rentals, your commission is probably in the four or $500 range. If you put somebody into a $200,000 home, your two and a half percent commission is something like $5,000. I think you would rather make 5,000 than 500. I highly encourage you to learn more about the IDA program. If you want more information, text me, email me, and I'll send you out flyers and more information on that. Again, I, part of this also on the IDA program, if you're a listing agent, and your listing is under $326,000. In your remarks, you might wanna double space down, put some asterisks and say, you might qualify for up to $10,000 in down payment assistance to purchase this home. You might be able to buy this home for as little as 1% of the purchase price. It just might get you some more people to wanna to see or talk to you about your listing. So enough, enough about that. Um, you know, I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware that these rates are extremely attractive. Oh, on the IDA program, that $10,000 uh, and an FHA loan, that $10,000, uh, your first mortgage interest rate would be 2.875. So typically if somebody takes the IDA down payment assistance funds, the interest rate on their first mortgage is typically, typically gonna be about 50 basis points or a half a percent higher than if they did not use down payment assistance. But boy, it's the difference between being a renter or not being able to get out of an existing home because you don't have enough equity, you don't have enough you know, down payment for the next house. And now all of a sudden, here's the state of Illinois, the Illinois Housing Development Authority providing that to you. So quick commercial on rates in the IDA program. So let's talk more about growing your business. You guys have been going after, if you look in, in my gmarino.valuedlender.com, and we're going to go there shortly, there's classes on how to how to win every expired listing, how to win every for sale by owner. Are you dripping on your clients? Again, these are all classes on how you can grow your business. And I just wanna take a brief moment for you to go over here. Let's go to, um, here's, my, here's my website. It's the gmarino.valuedlender.com site. All these classes, even last week's class on, F, on uh, Facebook, are under the recorded realtor marketing classes. And when you click on it, it has class one from the killer listing presentation, how to win every expired, 
how to win every for sale by owner. These little three A's and two A's, they're the same class, but it shows you how to use a virtual assistant such that you only have to spend five minutes in the morning working on these strategies. Again, if I was a realtor, I'd probably hire, you know, for $35 a month, which is what it talks about in these classes, I'd hire this virtual assistant and spend five minutes in the morning going out and prospecting and getting, getting more and more business for myself. Down here is 7A, which we had last week, how to get seller and buyer leads using Facebook posts and landing pages. So again, feel free to click on this as we're now in today into the class 7B. Let's continue with our agenda. Overall, face, the Facebook strategy, the Facebook is, is more like a pyramid that helps you broaden your reach when you're trying to shout out your product or your service to people. So again, think of a pyramid, you know, the very top of the pyramid is this is a small little peak. At the very top there, you're gonna say, okay, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna post my activity daily. And I'm gonna show you some of what we did last week of what I consider to be something, things that you can that you can post daily. One is your most recent listings. Uh, two would be your open houses, uh, down payment assistance for buyers. Uh, if I gave you ten thousand dollars today in down payment assistance, would you buy a home tomorrow? Uh, what is your home worth? Uh, free reports, free reports such as um, what are the ninety things you should not neglect? You shouldn't neglect when you're selling your home. Give away, a, give away a free report and they all must have landing pages. In other words, you're not just gonna post something about, uh, uh, you, can be, you might be eligible for $10,000 for down payment assistance. You want, to, you want to also let them know in the post that if you would like more information on this, please click this link to learn more. And when they click it, it's gonna to go to a landing page where you can collect their name, their email, their phone number, and you can send them out material and you can have conversation with them about how this down payment assistance or about how, how you can help them determine what their home is worth or how you can give them or get them this free report that they're looking for. So at the very tip of the pyramid, you're gonna post your activity daily. Then each day you're gonna ask about, uh, you're gonna broaden that pyramid now. Now we're starting to come down the pyramid, get a little broader. Each day you're gonna ask no more than 30 friends of friends to be your friend. In other words, I'm saying friend people, ask people to be your friend. Facebook is free advertising if you use Messenger. And so, you know, I've got like 3,000 friends. And so what do I do periodically? I'll go into my friends. And if say Steve Tassi is one of my friends, I'll go into Steve's friends. And I'm looking for people that are, you know, look like they're adults, look like they might be husbands and wives, might be people that could buy a house. I want to introduce myself to them. I might be of help or service to them. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna friend no more than 30 people. You go beyond 30, Facebook's gonna say you're spamming and they're gonna give you a warning or possibly even shut down your, your Facebook account. So don't do more than 30 a day. Then to broaden it further, number three, you're gonna target fans or friends of fans or customer database. You're gonna use Messenger to send out 30 messages a day. Um, again, to me, I would, I would go to Word, let me see if I've got that up here as one of your, your handouts. Um, here is, yeah, here's for say buyer lead. This is something that you can copy and paste through Messenger, script for Facebook friends. Um, hi, it's Laura Falk. Hi, it's Steve Tassi with your Realty Group. We're friends in Facebook, so I thought I'd check in with you during this pandemic. So many people are working from home and need an office in the home with historically low interest rates. I can help you find the home with that extra room for an office. I can help find a second home or even find a rental property that you can lock in these low interest rates for 30 years. Check out my personal website, which again, you guys all have free personal websites through Agent Marketing and see what I do for buyers. Call me at this number and let's have a two minute discussion. Copy that 30 times and paste it into Messenger to 30 friends. It's, it's free advertising. It's you getting out your product, your service to friends who just might be thinking about upgrading to get a home with an office or thinking about a second home or thinking about an investment or rental property. Going back to our agenda. So then after you target, you know, 30, you know, send out 30 messages a day at no cost to you, then let's create free landing pages. 
to capture those interested in our product. We want to go further down the pyramid, we want to broaden or get bigger, bigger exposure, more people seeing what we have to offer. So again, if we're offering them $10,000, which who doesn't like $10,000, let's create a landing page, which again, in my previous class, 7A, we learned how to do that and we'll see what they look like shortly. Then what you're gonna do is, we're gonna broaden it even further, number five here, create a Facebook ad for your product to be seen by thousands of people with your landing page for those that are interested. They will click on the landing page, give you their name, email, phone number, and obviously you will contact them. But here's what we didn't do last week, is that then we're gonna utilize retargeting with the Facebook pixel, and that's what this class is all about today, is what is this Facebook pixel, and how can we capture people that when they see our product or our service, they, they look at it, they say, oh yeah, this $10,000, I might be interested in learning how I can get to this, how I can qualify. And when they click on your landing page, they go to it and they see, oh, Steve wants me to give his, his, my name, my email, my phone number. I'm not doing that today. I'm not giving that to Steve. So what, what you do with your Facebook pixel and what's called a custom audience, for all those that are not interested in filling out your landing page, but they went to your landing page, they landed on it. Facebook doesn't care whether they fill it out or not. What we want to do as salespeople, we want to capture all those people. We want to retarget them. We might retarget them once, twice, three times, trying to give them a nudge, give them a push with another ad, seeing if they would like to buy a home for 1%. Would they like to take advantage of today's low, low interest rates? These are different ads that we can send to these people who have landed on our product or service but did not fill out our landing page. So kind of a, kind of a cool strategy. So again, let's look at last week, we created your landing pages. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of what we did last week. So let's go to our handout from last week. Well, here, I'll first go through the posts, then we'll go through the landing pages. Like here was, this, says, this was last week, we said, let's do each Monday. Let's say, if given $10,000 today, would you buy a home tomorrow? Well, that's kind of, kind of catchy. No, it's for existing homeowners and first-time home buyers. Are you waiting to purchase because you don't have enough in savings? Would you like to know how to, how to purchase your next home for a low down payment with 10,000 in down payment assistance? Well, the image is attractive, the message is attractive, and there's our landing page. Please click this link to find out you know, more, find out how you can qualify. Okay, here's Tuesday. Tuesday, if you could buy a home for 1% of the purchase price, would you stop renting? Give me one percent. Let's see. My landlord wants first month's rent fifteen hundred dollars. He wants a security deposit of fifteen hundred dollars. My landlord wants three thousand dollars. So you're saying that if I were to buy a home, uh, say two hundred thousand, I don't have to come up with two thousand dollars less than my first month's rent and security deposit. Amazing. Are you waiting to purchase because you don't have enough in savings? Would you like to know how to be, how to purchase your next home for only one percent of the purchase price? Find out how you become a homeowner with this amazing program. Here's your landing page. Click this link and find out how. Boom, they click it, and it's gonna take them to a landing page, which we'll see at the end here. Here's a post on Wednesday. Wednesday says, get your free report. Everybody likes free things, so get your free report on 90 things you can't neglect when selling your home. Attention homeowners, I'm with, I'm with, uh, I'm Jake Kiltz with Home Smart Realty, and I wanna get you, get your home, I wanna help you sell your home fast and for the most amount of money. Get this copy of this powerful eight page report. Cool. Click this link to get your free report. They click the link, it goes to the landing page and landing page says, give me your name, email and phone number and I'll, mail it, I'll email it out to you. Well, I want the report, so I'm gonna give you my name, my email and my phone number. Thursday, what is your home worth? And again, you gotta remember, once these are in your Facebook, you know, what I'm showing you, these are two minute exercises every morning. Every day in Glenn's Facebook, I do a two minute post. The, the text doesn't change. What is your home worth? Da, 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 da. The landing page doesn't change. What changes is the picture from week to week. So last Thursday, there would have been a different picture. So this Thursday, what I'm gonna do is, I'm, I'm gonna go get to Google Images, I'm gonna go get a picture of a house that I think is representative of houses that I wanna list. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy from last Thursday's post, all this text, 
and I'm going to paste it into my, my current Facebook post. So how long is it going to take you to go get a new image out of Google Images, upload it into Facebook, go back to your last Thursday's post, and copy the language, the text, and then paste it into today's post? All of two minutes. You're miss These are commercials. The, the purpose of doing this Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is so people know and recognize, just like I recognize on TV that uh, you know there's product, there's a beer commercial, or there's a Kleenex commercial, or there's a food commercial. I may not need that that food product today, but you know what? In the back of my mind, I know that oh, this company that Steve Tossi he has a a ten thousand dollar program. When I'm ready, when my son is ready, when my daughter is ready, I can go to Steve because he's got this really cool information about $10,000 in down payment assistance. Or if I'm thinking of selling, Steve's got this really cool 90 things I should not neglect when selling my home. I don't need them today because I'm not really thinking about it, but you know, down the road, I am. And for two minutes, why wouldn't you continue to put that out there and messenger it out to all your friends? You know, I got 3,000 friends. I'm, you know, I'm trying to get messages out to 3,000 people, letting them know my products, my services. Again, here's, here's going to be a Friday post. This is more applicable to the agents that service the Chicagoland area. Buy a four-unit building for only 3.5% down. Amazing. If you own or occupy it, there's special financing that gives you 96.5%. Let's say it again. It's only 3.5% down. Fabulous. Most people think on a four-unit building, they got to put 20, 25% down. Here they're only putting three and a half percent down, and then the rents from the other three units pay for their mortgage. Kind of cool. And again, there's the landing page. Click this link to learn more. Boom, boom, boom. They click it. Name, email, and phone number, and I'll get you more information. We'll have a conversation. So let's go to some of the landing pages that we created last week. And again, uh, we will be creating some landing pages today for with the pixel. So I'm not going to recreate the, this one here today, but this is what it looked like last week. That landing page when it said, um, "Congratulations!" You know, when it said, "Would you like ten thousand dollars? Would you like to find out how you qualify for ten thousand dollars in down payment assistance?" Or when you saw that big number one, "Would you like to learn how to buy a home for as little as one percent?" This is the landing page that they go to. It says, "Congratulations! You're on your way toward home ownership. Find out if you qualify." This is a free landing page within Agent Marketing. You all can get free, you all can have a free, a free agent marketing account, again, by going back to that gmarino.valuedlender.com that we went to earlier, where the recorded classes are, to the left of it. One tab to the left says, open up a free agent marketing account. Highly encourage it, because it's, it's Cadillac software, and it's free to you guys. So again, it's easy to get started. Put in your name, email, and phone number, they click submit. You, the agent, will get an email and a text message that says, hey, someone's looking for $10,000 or how to buy a home for as little as 1%. Go talk to them. Here's the landing page for that four-unit building. Two, three, or four-unit building, special financing, 3.5% down. It's easy to get started. Give me your name, email, and phone number. Click submit. This is also, again, a free landing page that we created within Agent Marketing. So you guys don't have to spend money. You just got to create the doggone landing page and go back to class 7a and see how we created this and create them yourself it's it's fairly simple all right then here is a landing page on the 90 things you can't can't afford to neglect when selling your home again free within agent marketing so these are some really cool landing pages that are, are available to you all right going back to our agenda so we looked at the landing pages from last week, they, and we just looked at the template for these five five different posts, Monday through Friday. Um, I highly recommend you do that for two minutes. You know, you're you're in sales. Um, let's not keep our products and services quiet. So get out there and do two minutes worth of posting in Facebook every day, because the cost is what zero. So start getting your your commercials out there now. The key is sharing those, those posts. So the, the technique for creating a Facebook post, and we're gonna look at some of Glenn's posts and the sharing. When, when, when you do a post in Facebook, 
don't count on more than 50 people at most seeing it. Well, that's not really good. Um, and again, why do, why do only small numbers of people see your posts, those commercials that we just got done talking about? Well, it's because Facebook's algorithms say only people that like your pages, like your posts, comment on your posts, only people that you like their pages, only people that you comment on their posts, those are the people that Facebook says you engage with and I'm gonna let them see what you do. I'm gonna let them see what your posts are. Well, I don't know about you, but I can't, I can't interact in a week's period of time with more than about 50 people. I got, I got other things in life to do. So I'm gonna get about up to 50 people when I do, I do my commercials, but I don't wanna stop there. So what I do is I share my posts with groups and I'm in probably 13, 14, 15 different groups. They're real estate groups, they're garage sale groups, uh, they're, they're home, uh, home buyer groups. So I've got all these different groups that I've found in, in Facebook and I continue to find more every day. So you know, after I create the free landing page, after I post to the Facebook, I'm gonna post first in Facebook business page first, Photo go, always goes up first and then the text later. You're gonna do the same post to your timeline. You're gonna post your commercial. Your photo goes up first, then your text with your landing page goes up. And again, the reason I put them in both my business and my timeline is I want my friends to know too that I, you know, I, do, I do share that I went out for sushi or that I, I was climbing and doing hiking with my family or that you know, we saw this you know, beautiful uh, sunset. Yeah, I post all that kind of stuff in my Facebook personal page. But I also let my friends know that, hey, rates are low. Hey, do you have a son or a daughter that could use $10,000 to help them buy their next home? Hey, could you use $10,000 because you don't have enough equity in it to, to move on to a house that's bigger? Um, so you know, again, you're going to be posting it into your business page, your timeline, and then you're going to share it to other Facebook pages, like we said, garage sales, to home buyers. And then you're gonna messenger 30 friends. And if you get done with all 3,000 of my friends, then I'm gonna go to friends of friends. And I'm gonna include that landing page link to make sure that if they're interested in the message that I'm sending them, all I gotta do is click. Make it easy. You're gonna send stuff out to people. Don't make it hard. Just put a link in there, let them click it, and let you know take them to where they can then give you their name, email, and phone number and ask you to get in contact with them. So I'm going to show you, you know, a real quick example of some of my posts. Get this out of the way. So let's go over here to Facebook. Okay, so here is one of my posts. Um, if given $10,000 today, would you buy a home tomorrow? This is the one that had the $10,000 strap of money. This is just a different picture with money and keys and, and with a little house, kind of, kind, of, kind, of, kind of great. Would you buy a home tomorrow if given $10,000 today? For existing and first time home buyers, are you waiting to purchase who don't have enough money? Would you like to know how to purchase uh, a home using down payment assistance of $10,000? Click this link. Well, when I click the link, Boom, it goes to the landing page and they can put in their name, email, and phone number. That's great. But then what's also cool, I would want you guys to see, is I shared it 16 times. You see this down here, 16 shares? Look at the people I reached. I did not reach 50 people. I reached 674. I like that. So 674 people saw this post and 32 of them engaged with it, which is kind of great. Um, here's another one up here. 955 people got reached. I shared it 16 times. 58 people engaged, and all I did was tell them what I do. I'm in, I'm in the lending business for purchasing and refinancing, and here's some of the, the products. So again, um, the key is not only do your commercials, but do your sharing with groups, and all of a sudden you're gonna reach a lot more people. So again, we're broadening that pyramid. That pyramid's going from 50, to 600 to 900, okay? And then obviously you can messenger, messenger it out to people that are friends of yours. Okay, so let's go back to our agenda. All right, so once you have a Facebook post and a landing page, you're ready to create an ad. Okay, um, let's take a look at one of Glenn's ads on one of his listings. You know, even though it's, I'm, I'm not a realtor, this is 
a listing at 1160 Biscay Court. Um, there's 2,200 people that I've captured in a custom audience that have seen this listing. And I also have 4,300 people in a custom audience for those who have engaged in my Facebook business page called the Marino Team at First Centennial Mortgage that, are, that have seen it in the last 365 days. What does that mean? That means there's people sitting in an audience that I can now try to push over the edge and say, and give them some more reason to buy 1160 Biscay. Or there's 4,300 people sitting in a custom audience in Facebook that I can send an ad to that says, hey, you you know, thanks for engaging with or thanks for visiting the Marino team at First Centennial Mortgage. Are you, I can, I can do all sorts of, I can think of all sorts of things I could do with that. I could ask him, you know, do you have any sons or daughters or you are in the marketplace to possibly purchase a home and could you use $10,000 in down payment assistance? Um, I could think of, you know, have you thought about uh, buying a home for as little as 1% of the purchase price? There's all sorts of cool things that I can go to 4,300 people. So where, where am I getting that, that information from? Um, it's in my Facebook, so let's see if I can find it. So let's go here. Let's go, let's open up another Facebook. So let's go to Facebook. And if I go to my ads manager, And if I go to what I'd call audiences, because and you'll know more about audiences later in this class, because we're going to create a couple of custom audiences. If I go to my audiences, I'm looking at custom audiences. And the very first one, you see this size, it says 2,200. That's 1160 Biscay Court. That's people who have visited the property website. I now have 2,200 people that I can go back to and say, hey, would you like to buy this? Hey, there's been a price reduction. Hey, there's been, you know, hey, did you see that this house has a swimming pool? I can do all sorts of things with, with this 2,200 people, seeing if I can find, get one, one person out of there to be a buyer. And then if you look at other, I wanna to go to another, here's another, my other custom audience, 4,300 custom audience. That's in Glenn's Facebook, 365, we named it to that. That is my um, Facebook business page. That's the, uh, the Marino team at First Centennial Mortgage. I got 4,300 people that have visited that, that page in the last 365 days. Well, again, I can think of lots of things that I could send out to them as far as ads, seeing if they would like to take action. So my point here is today what we're trying to do is the pixel is going to help us capture people that visit sites that we have and that don't give us their information, but we're gonna capture what's called their Facebook ID. What Facebook does is Facebook, the Facebook pixel is gonna, each one of us, all of us on this call, anybody who's got a Facebook account, each one of us has a 16 digit Facebook ID. It's every one of us is unique. And if you go land on one of my pages that has my Facebook pixel in it, Facebook's gonna, can it capture your Facebook ID and put that into an audience that then I can send at future ads out to called remarketing ads to and see if I can't get them to buy my product or service. So again, kind of cool. Um, and again, just so you see here, whenever you see Facebook and the audience is saying, like here's a, a, a custom audience, um, it's below a thousand people. Anytime the number's under a thousand, then it's only going to say below a thousand. It's not going to tell you, oh, I've got uh, 253 people. No, it's not going to do that. But it will give you the numbers once you go over a thousand. Okay, so let's go back to our agenda. So let's look at what I call anytime you're going to do a Facebook ad now, we're going to do these four steps. And it includes, we've, you know, we're going to have to first set up our Facebook pixel, which we'll be doing shortly. But let's review the four-step schematic, which I'm going to send out to everybody. 
and it looks a little bit like this. That's the remarketing. Let's go to, here it is. Okay, so Facebook posting and ads set up to get leads. So we've been talking all along, Facebook's business page, you're gonna post to that daily. You're also, you know, then you're gonna share it, share it or post to your personal timeline, you're gonna to go to groups. Okay, so you're gonna go, you know, maybe 5% of the people that really like your page are really gonna see this because those are the people that you engage with. Remember we talked about it won't be more than say 50 people. If you share it, you'll get hundreds of people. But now we wanna get more exposure. So we're gonna create an ad. But before you just go, let's go to the ad. Nope, nope, nope. The first thing is we need to create a landing page. Okay, and we're, you know, we're gonna look at uh, a land, we're gonna look at two different landing pages. One for, let's say, if somebody wanted to get $10,000 for down payment assistance or how to buy a home for 1%. Um, I'm going to show you where in agent marketing you're going to put your Facebook pixel so that you can start capturing all the people that go to your landing page but don't fill out the landing page. So creating a landing page, um, that is in class 7A. Today I am going to create a landing page for those realtors that are listing agents that have listings. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you what, how you can use the agent marketing property website itself as a landing page allowing people to go see all the beauty and the benefits and the features of your listing. And when they land on that property website, we're going to capture their Facebook ID and get like I have 2,200 people to talk to. Step two, we're gonna put the Facebook pixel in the landing page. So again, I'm gonna show you today how to go take your Facebook pixel and paste it inside either the landing page for how to buy a home for 1% of the purchase price or how to put it inside the property website if it's one of your listings. Step three, we're then gonna create the custom audience. We're gonna create that audience that um, where Facebook, I call it the bucket. Think of the custom audience as being a bucket where Facebook can now start dropping in, dripping in all the people that go to our landing page but don't fill it out. So we're gonna tell Facebook, we're gonna give it a rule, we're gonna give it a definition, we're gonna give it instructions, however you wanna call it, on what goes into this bucket. We're gonna say, hey, if somebody goes to this URL, a landing page is a URL, it's a website. So we're gonna tell Facebook, hey, if somebody goes to this URL, to this website, and if that website happens to have my pixel, the Glenn Marino or the Steve Tossi pixel, put that person's Facebook ID in this bucket, because I, I wanna send them something later. Then you can create the Facebook ad and, and send it out to people because now when they click your landing page or your learn more button in the Facebook ad, they're gonna, their, their Facebook ID is gonna get captured and put into the custom audience. So this is gonna be our Rosetta Stone. Steps one, two, three, and four is how we're going to do that. Now, since we, let's, let's all talk, talk about then just procedurally and then we'll do it practically. Then once we have a custom audience, and that could be 300, 400, 2,200 people in it, then what are we gonna do? Well, that's when this comes in. This is called the Facebook remarketing worksheet. It's also, I call it, the, I call it it's, it's going around the base. It's like, it's like a baseball game. This is home play. I had, we had somebody who had uh, a listing at 8547 Saginaw, and it was, it was listed for 120,000. Cool. At home play, he did an ad, where the audience size was 2,800,000, he reached 9,990 people. 889 people clicked to the landing page. Okay, cool. He just captured 889 people. It cost him $45, not a lot of money. So he's got $45 spent and he's got 900 people. And then what he can do is he can come over here and he can remarket to that audience. Now. I got two schools of thought here. One is, well, Glenn, I don't really need to do this because, you know, houses under 300,000, they're selling like hotcakes. They are. But how many people can buy that house? One. Well, that means that if one out of that 889 did buy it, that means that this realtor still has 888 more people that he can work with. So I would be still 
wanting to capture, I would be using my listings as a means to capture custom audiences. And let's just be wild and crazy for a second here. Let's say you did two listings a month. And let's just say we're not, we're not gonna do 80, 889 captures. We're gonna do three or 400. So 400 people you're gonna capture, you're gonna get two listings a month. That's 400 times two, that's 800 people per month. 800 times 12. Is that 9,600 people that you now have in databases that you can be sending out ads to saying, hey, rates are still low. Hey, you know, housing is a great investment. Hey, it's an appreciating asset. Hey, I got $10,000 to help you if you're in need of down payment assistance or closing cost money. I kind of like that. Because again, all these custom audiences that you're capturing are costing you how much money? Well, maybe $45, maybe $35. You know, that's, that's not a big price to pay to be capturing people that you can have further discussions with through Facebook ads. So again, if you go to remarketing number two, um, well, first off, if the house hadn't sold right away, the first, going to first base, remarketing number one, to these 889 people, we might do an ad about asking them for a showing saying, hey, here's this beautiful three bedroom, two bath home, um, you know, with, uh, with an expansive backyard, great, uh, great deck and back for entertaining. Um, click this link to see all the beauty and features of this home. Um, if you'd like your, your own private showing, click this link. When they click the link, it's gonna ask them for their name, their email and their phone number, and you're gonna, you're gonna move on uh, to, to trying to get them, you know, into the house. If you know, a week later, you might, you might do an ad about, can you use $10,000 for down payment and closing cost assistance? A week later, you might do another ad to that 889 saying, can I show you how you can buy your next home for 1% of the purchase price? So again, these are all cool things that you can do with remarketing. And that was just with one, one of your listings. Gotta remember custom audiences don't disappear. So if you had 24 listings, you now have 24 custom audiences and you can put all 24 of them into an ad. So as you move along in month after month into the future, if you have two custom audiences, okay, you're gonna use those in, in your next Facebook ad going out to those people. But now next month you got custom audiences three and four. So now you got four audiences that you can put into your next Facebook ad. And then you've got five and six and I got six audiences. And you get, the, you get the idea, you keep adding custom audiences and you can keep sending out to more and more people, your product, your service, what you can do for them. Kind of cool. All right, going back to our... So we saw Glenn's 2,200 in, in a custom audience on a listing and we saw 4,300 in a custom audience on his Facebook business page. We reviewed the four-step schematic uh, we reviewed the remarketing, the subsequent ads that we can send out to the custom audience. So now let's go ahead and create your Facebook pixel. Mine's already been created, so I'm gonna have to um, log out. I'll show you, again, you guys are gonna get a copy of this agenda, but you'll follow these steps here. Okay, you're gonna go to the events manager, you're gonna click the plus sign to connect data sources, you're gonna select Facebook pixel and click connect, and then you're gonna add your pixel name. So I thought it'd be beneficial that we did it live so that you guys can actually see what that looks like, uh, which means then I have to log out of my Facebook and I'll come back later on and log back in. So let's get out of these Facebooks for a second. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna log out. And I'm gonna to go to Laura Falk. She's been kind enough to give me her Facebook ID and her password. Let's log out. Okay, so let's go to Laura. Let's put in her password. All right.
All right, so we're now in Laura's Facebook, just like you guys would be in your Facebook. So the first thing it said was to go to Events Manager. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to look on the left-hand side for either Events Manager or Ads Manager. So there's Ads Manager. I'm going to click it. Once it takes me there, I'm going to go to this checkerboard square up here, which is all the business tools. So click the checkerboard square in the upper left corner. And do you see where it says events manager? I want to go to events manager. And she has no data sources. And so the next step says click connect a data source. What we want to do is we want to put the pixel in here as a data source. So it says, next, click, connect the data source. So again, I just want to show you in the agenda. We're now here, went to events manager, now click, connect data sources and select web. Okay, so let's go back. Connect the data source. It then said, select web. Okay, and web says, connect your website to share activity that occurs online, including viewing content, add to cart, and purchases. So what we want to do is we want to have a pixel that we can connect to our websites, to our landing pages, to our property websites. Those are all websites. We want to connect our pixel to it. So say get started. And then we want the Facebook pixel, it said, is in our, in our agenda there. So I'm going to click fa Facebook pixel and hit connect. And then it says, enter a name for your pixel. Well, I don't know any other, my pixel is called Glenn Marino's pixel. So I'm gonna call this Laura Falks pixel. Pretty easy. Um, it's optional. I'm not gonna put in the website right now. Um, and so I'll hit continue. And now you can see we are at Laura Falk's pixel is over here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna go back to my pixel now. I'm gonna log out of her. Because again, I wanted you to at least go through the steps. Um, she now has, the pixel is set up. All right? So again, when it says continue with the pixel setup, that's really to, um, be able to copy it and put it into a website, which is what I'm going to do within mine. So if I were to hit continue, I would be uh, clicking on install the code manually. And then I would be copying the code and I'd be pasting it into the website. And I'm going to show you that in mine. So let's just stop here. Let's go back to, um, let's get out of Laura. Let's go to Facebook. Again, you'll be able to get the, video, the replay of this so that you can see those steps I just did. Plus you'll have the handout that gives you the steps also. So I wanna log out of, out of Laura. And this time I wanna log into Glenn. Okay, so I'm back in Glenn. So again, now Laura has her pixel. See how easy it was? Again, it didn't take long to create the pixel. So now she's got her pixel. You guys would have your pixel. I've got my own pixel. You only need one pixel. So again, um, even though it's gonna be going into multiple different websites, you'll, it'll make more sense when you go to the custom audience. It defines um, each custom audience will, will have a different definition or set of rules but it's only one pixel for all of your websites. So again, keep it simple, not make it complicated. One pixel for everything you do. You just saw how easy it was to create it. So again, going back here to the agenda, it says, you know, pixel should be named your first name, your last name, just like it said, Glenn Marino pixel. Now, that was Laura Falk pixel. Um, in the event that you already have a pixel, which I do, 
I'm going to go over to Events Manager to the Data Sources. I'm going to click Add Events. I'm going to go to from a new website, install manually, copy the code, and paste it into a website. Before I do all that, what I want to do is I want to know where am I pasting it? You know, where to paste the Facebook in your agent marketing landing pages. So let's go to one of the landing pages from last week. And let's make a wild assumption that somebody thought it'd be kind of cool to do a Facebook ad advertising that, hey, you might qualify for $10,000 to, you know, if you were given $10,000 today, would you become a homeowner tomorrow? If you're short on funds needed, needed to purchase a home, would you be interested in learning more about how to get $10,000? Click this link. Well, let's assume that somebody liked that Facebook ad and clicked your link. They clicked the learn more button. And when they went to your landing page, this is what the landing page might look like. So let's go. Okay, it might look something like this. Congratulations, you're on your way toward home ownership. But what we wanna do is we wanna be able to go in there and put the Facebook pixel in here in case someone says, aha, I see what that Steve Tossi is trying to do. He wants my name, he wants my email, he wants my phone number, and I'm not giving it to him today. And Facebook says, well, I don't care if you filled it out, I'm gonna still put you into the custom audience for Steve to come back and remarket to you. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over here. Well, that's the other landing page today. Let me see if I can find, there it is. Okay, so I'm in agent marketing. And what I, yeah, in order to get to, let's, let's first define where do you find the landing pages? Well, on the left-hand side here, there's something called leads. And there's something called squeeze pages. It's just a different way of calling it a landing page. Squeeze pages, landing pages, we're squeezing the name, email, and phone number from people that see, see our information. So you click squeeze pages, and lo and behold, it comes to this page. Great. And so here is the, here is the well, let's first view it. This is the landing page. We want the Facebook pixel to go inside here. So where is that? Again, let's go to I want to own. And what you're going to do is you're going to click. And let's see, it's either editor options. Let's, let's try options first. It is options. Under options, make it easy on yourself. It's all the way down to the bottom. Do you see where it says HTML tracking code? A Facebook pixel is a tracking code. It tracks anyone who goes to our website. So what we're gonna do is we're going to paste the Facebook pixel code right here. So let's leave this alone for right now. Let's go back to Facebook. And what we wanna do here is we wanna go get Glenn or Laura Falks, you know, or yours, your, your pixel, your Facebook pixel. So it said, go to events manager. So I got a first, I'm going through ads manager to get to events manager. So click ads manager. I then am gonna go over here, remember the checkerboard square to the business tools? Click on the checkerboard business tools, go to events manager. And do you see where it says Glen F. Marino's pixel? We just created the one that said Laura Falk pixel, but this one's Glenn Marino's pixel. And I, I, I have activity going depending upon when I place ads and stuff like that. So I want to now, I want, I'm creating a brand new landing page and I want that landing page to have the Facebook pixel in there because I want to capture people that say they don't want to fill out my page. And again, what's, what's, what's not being said here, which is self-evident, for those people that do fill out the landing page, you know, there might be nine, 10 people that would fill it out. Hundreds won't, but a handful will. You're gonna obviously, you're gonna get a text or an email as a realtor from agent marketing and, and saying, here's the name, here's the phone number, here's the email of the person that's looking for $10,000 or 1% or what their home is worth. So you'll be getting the notifications both by email and text but this is now, we're capturing those people that say, nope, not giving you my contact information today. 
So here we're at the Glen, Glen Marino Pixel. What we're going to do is we're going to click Add Events. And it says, from a new website. I want to, I want to know, I'm going to, I got a new website. I just created this, you know, how to buy a home for 1% of the purchase price or how to get $10,000 for down payment assistance. So I'm going to click on from a new website. And then it says, how do you want to install the pixel code? Well, partner integration is if you're, 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 you're using um, your, your WordPress, uh, Squarespace, uh, Shopify, you're not doing that. You're, with, you're doing agent marketing. You're just going to copy and paste is what you're going to do. You're manually going to add the pixel code to that website. So you'd say install the code manually. Okay, cool. Step one, copy the base code. Always look for green buttons in Facebook. Facebook says copy the code. So I go over here, click it. And now it, it has copied the code to my clipboard. Then it says number two, paste the base code to your website. Well, I, you and I can do that. We've got that sitting over here. Let's go find it. There it is. Remember that squeeze page? We clicked options. Again, I'll just go back to make sure you guys understand. I want to own, that's that landing page that's gonna be in our, our ad in Facebook. And we're gonna click options. It opens up and we want to go all the way down here to the HTML tracking code and we're gonna paste. And you can see at the top here, it says Facebook pixel code. And at the bottom here, it says end of Facebook pixel code. So you know you did a good job. And do not worry about what it says in between because it's HTML code. And unless that's your, what you studied in college, um, you don't have to worry about what it says. You just need to make sure that you have a beginning and ending of the code. And then you're gonna hit save. That's as hard as it gets to put the Facebook pixel code inside a landing page where you're doing your commercials and then eventually when you want to get more people to engage with that that commercial and again i'll give you my thoughts remember i said monday do do the ten thousand, tuesday do the one percent wednesday do the, what is your home worth or give them a free you know free report 90 things they shouldn't neglect i there's four weeks in a month i usually pick one of those each week $10,000. Okay, let's do a Facebook ad on that. And I'll run it for seven days. And I want to make sure that I have the Facebook pixel code in the landing page that when either people that the 50 people that are going to that might click on or might see my my commercial post, and then the thousands of people that are going to see my Facebook ad, anytime they click my, my landing page link that's in the ad that's in the post, Facebook's going to capture them in this custom audience for me. So good job. We now have the Facebook pixel code inside the landing page. Great, great, great. Let's go back. Okay, so we copied the code and we pasted it into the website. Um, where to paste it in the agent marketing landing pages? We just saw that. It's under options. So again, I'll just type in here. Uh, options. That's the tab. Let's paste the Facebook pixel. Well, I didn't do 90 things. I did the one that said, you know, I'd like to buy like information about $10,000 or how to buy for 1%. So we pasted it in there. Um, now it's going to capture all those people that land on that landing page, but don't fill it out. So any questions here? You know, again, uh, last week's class of 7 8. I didn't go through creating the landing pages because it's already there in the, the recording from last week. But I did want to show you how to upload, how to get to your Facebook pixel and how to put it inside your landing page. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to create a new landing page. We're going to put the Facebook pixel inside the landing page and we're going to create a Facebook ad for a listing, which again, that should be exciting to, you know, realtors who have listings. So again, let's review the four steps to create ads with landing pages that contain your Facebook pixel for each listing. So again, going back here, let's just review it. First step, create a landing page, all right? Those who fill it out, you're gonna help immediately. Those that don't, you're gonna put them into a custom audience. 
okay, we're gonna click the edit button in Agent Marketing and click the website, and then there's a pop-up form, and we're gonna click that it's it there's a re, that it's required that the pop-up form drop down when anybody goes to our property website. The second step is gonna be put the Facebook pixel code in the landing page, create the custom audience, and then create the ad. So let's start, let's work our way down, create a landing page. So it says that we need to go to agent marketing and we need to go to the edit button and we need to go to website. So let's go over here, let's go to agent marketing. Okay, so I, it says go to my properties. Okay, and we're gonna use 1160 Biscay Court as our example today. And what we're gonna do here is, it said go to your edit, same thing as the info, edit or info button. And then it says go to website. Well, there's setup, property, website, options, go to website. And then it says down here, There it is, pop-up controls. It says there's none. Well, it said in our handout there, it said click required. When we click required, this is what shows up. Um, the greeting says, thank you for visiting 1160 Biscay. Uh, please fill out the form below to continue enjoying the 3D virtual tour. Many more beautiful pictures. And so you, we can stay in contact with you regarding any changes to this amazing home. Cool. Um, then we, again, when they fill it out, thank you. You know, you'll stay updated with all our new property information and the button is gonna say submit. And there's no delay. When they go to the landing page, there's no delay before the pop-up shows up. So what does all this mean? Let's take a look at it. All we did was click required that we want. The, the, re, the pop-up form again is another way of saying landing page. We're requiring that the landing page show up. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit save. And now what we're gonna do is, let's say that we go to um, 1160 Biscay Court. Boom. You, it shows you know, in fuzzy form the picture of the website, the picture of the house, but it says, thank you for it for visiting 1160 Biscay, fill out the form below to continue enjoy the 3D virtual tour. First name, last name, phone, email. Okay, and then they have to hit submit. Um, if they hit submit, you will get their name, you'll get their email, you'll get their phone number. If they don't fill it out, if this happens to have the, your Facebook pixel in it, you will then be capturing them in a custom audience so that you can remarket to them and help them understand the beauty, the features of this wonderful listing that you have. So we already now, we now have the landing page. That was step number one, you guys said. Okay, so we went over here, we did step number one, the landing page. Now put the pixel inside the landing page. Well, remember, we, we, let's go back to Facebook. Let's go get the Facebook pixel and we want to click manually install the pixel. So I'm gonna come over here to Facebook. Remember here where we were at this point, we, we had add event and we said we want to do it manually. And when we hit continue, it said, okay, copy the code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy the code. I'm gonna then paste it into the website. Okay, so I'm gonna go back over here to Agent Marketing. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go to Tools. I'm gonna to go to Tools. And it says that in our handout, I'll show you where I put it in, in the handout. It says, go to Tools. And then three down on the right hand side, it says analytics. Click analytics. And this, I already have the Facebook pixel code in here already. Notice it says Facebook pixel code. Notice it says, 
you scroll down, it says end Facebook pixel code. So I got the entire code in here. And all I would have to do, if I didn't have it in here, I would paste. I could actually delete and then repaste, but you know, paste. And I would hit save. Cool, I've done step number two now. So again, going back to our four step program, we've now put the Facebook pixel in the landing page. Okay, again down here it said, click your tools in agent marketing and then click analytics and paste the Facebook pixel code there and hit save. Pretty simple, we did that. Okay, so got a landing page for our listing. We got the Facebook pixel inside the landing page. Now let's create the custom audience. So again, we can go to events manager and we're going to click create an audience. So let's go back to Facebook. Again, this is all part of the pixel. I would ignore all this. You don't really need this at this point in time. And you don't need the, so let's just get out of it. You don't need the setup tool. All right, so again, I'm gonna go back to uh, events manager. Actually, when I go to the business tools, I'm sorry, when I go to business tools, notice that there's ads manager, events manager, there's audiences. So let's go to audiences. And do you see this big blue button? It says create an audience. I wanna create an audience. I wanna capture people that are going to my listings landing page. The landing page being the property website itself. And again, go to class number two to see how to create a property website manually or go to 2A and you'll, you'll learn about the virtual assistant that for $35 a month, she'll do unlimited property websites for you. But you either do it manually or you, you, know, you hire the virtual assistant. But once the property website's created, we went to tools and we then went to analytics and we pasted in the pixel. So now what we wanna do is create an audience. So you click create and I can give you a little heads up here. Um, this is gonna be what they call a special ad audience. Um, when you do, when I say special ad, Facebook has gone to Congress, they've been under scrutiny, uh, there's privacy issues, um, there's anti-discrimination issues. And so we are in the housing market. Lenders, realtors, we're in the, in the housing market. Facebook says, if you do anything that, uh, an ad that is advertising credit, um, employment, housing, you, might, you are in what's called a special ad category, which limits your reach. It's your, say your city is Naperville, it's, it's 15 miles around any particular city. Um, it also will not allow you to put in age differential. I used to put in, I'm looking for people between the ages of 25 and 45. And Facebook said, nope, can't do that anymore. That's discriminating. So um, you can't, you know, age, gender, those things cannot be changed anymore within Facebook once it's a special ad category. So I'm going to click special ad. It says if you're using credit employment or housing ads and say continue. Um, our source. And this is going to be a special ad. I'm going to go back to custom for a second. Only because we, we, want, we want our business page. I created a business page. Again, it would be your business page. Um, select an existing or data source. Well, the data source should be our pixel. Let's see if that's in here. Let's go, let's go back here for a second. 
Let's create an audience. Let's go custom. Okay. What we're doing here is we're going to create a custom audience using a website. And we can't do that spell sheet yet until we identify uh, the website. So we want our website, our property website. Um, you know, whatever your property website name is within Agent Marketing or the name of the landing page that uh, you have within Agent Marketing for your $10,000. So click website. From there, it's gonna say, okay, it says add people to this audience. So I got a custom audience, who am I gonna add to this? You're gonna add anyone who clicks on a, on a website that has the Glen Marino pixel in it. So they have to meet both of these, except watch what we do here. We don't want all website visitors. What we want is people who visit a specific website page. The specific website page happens to be your landing page that you created in Agent Marketing for that $10,000, or it's your uh, property website that has the pixel inside it. In this case, we're doing one for a listing. So it says, we want the URL. What is the name of the URL? So we're gonna come back over here to Agent Marketing. And what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna go back and we're gonna get the URL that has now this pixel inside it. We're gonna go back to our list of properties. It's 1160 Biscay Court, right? And when we click on it, it opens up the property website. Right now, I didn't, I didn't fill in the, the, the landing page, but I can get to the URL. Here it is up here. 1160 Biscay Court, greatcustomhome.com. Copy it. Go back over here to your Facebook. In your Facebook, you're gonna paste. So let's make sure we understand this. We're saying Facebook, number one, add people to my custom audience that have the Glen Marino pixel. It's inside here and who go to this website. So you're being very specific to Facebook. You're saying if somebody lands on my property website, because I send them there through my Facebook ad, I say, go see all the beautiful features and benefits of this home. Go to http 1160biscaycourt.greatcustomhome.com. And if this website has the Glen Marino pixel in it, please put them into a custom audience. And then it says, now name your audience. Okay, well, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna call it, it's 1160 Biscay Court Property Website. I already have one called Visits. I'm gonna call it Attendees who attended or went to the site. Okay, and obviously I didn't exceed the description. I had nine more characters to go, so click create audience. Oh, one more thing before we cr click create. Do you see over here this number of days? It says add people to this audience who visit this specific website in the next one, you can, if you put your cursor here, it says the max time is 180 days. Oh. I'm all in favor of that. I want to capture as many people as I can for as long as I can. So put 180 days in there and then click create the audience. Because it is a, we're using this audience for a special housing ad, we, we cannot create a lookalike audience. And so we're basically done at this point in time. So just hit done. So now when you, we're still under the tab called audiences, our checkerboard square, audiences. Do you notice here, we just created this one. Remember when I started the class, I said, hey, Glenn's got 2,200 in this custom audience called 1160 Biscay Property Website Business. I just created 1160 Biscay Court Property Website Attendees, and it's populating. I mean, it's, it's, it's ready. It's ready to accept people, but nothing's happened so far. And obviously, we created it on September the 11th. So. Great, we've now created the custom audience. That was step three. 
Go to step four now. Step four says create the ad. Cool. So let's go back to our Facebook and let's go back to and find the create button and create an ad. What I want to do is I want to give you guys an idea of what the ad might look like before we create it. So let's go over to let's go over here to Facebook. And again, this might be of benefit to you guys. Let me see if I also have it down here in handouts. Oh, here's one. What we're doing is we're not really giving people the sales price. We're not giving people a lot more than a beautiful front picture. Rarely available, five bedrooms and four baths. Golf course views of the seventh and eighth fairways. Click learn more. Learn more is down here. Click learn more for additional pictures, the virtual tour, the price and location. Um, I've changed my mind a little bit in some future ones. I've given them the location so that I'm not capturing people that have no interest. Let's say this home is in Naperville. If they live far south in you know, some south suburb and they have no interest in moving up this way, they're not gonna click on this. But for those, so I, I've, I've moved up the location into something that I'm disclosing in the ad itself, but I'm not giving them the additional pictures or the virtual tour nor the price until they click the learn more button. And when they do that, they're gonna be taken to the full property website that has what? The, the pop-up form, which is, the, is known as the landing page, and they must put in their name, email, and their phone number for, for in order to go through and see the rest of the beautiful pictures, the virtual tour, and the price. If they don't fill out the pop-up form, I still capture them in my custom audience in Facebook. So here's an example of what we're doing. Let's, let's, create, um, let's create a, a similar one for 1160 Biscay Court. So let's go over here. We're gonna to go to Facebook and we're gonna click the create button. Everybody see the create button? And we're gonna click create and we're gonna click create an ad. Once we get the beginning of it, it's gonna ask us what is our what is our goal here? What are we trying to do? We're trying to drive traffic, traffic to our property website. We want people to come see our property website that's got a photo gallery, a virtual tour, of what's nearby in the neighborhood. So traffic, cool. Send people to a destination like a website. That's what we want them to do. And then it says, name your campaign. I would like to name it. So the campaign is going to be 1160 Biscay Court. Website attendees. Okay. And I'm going to name it the same, that if you're not familiar with Facebook ads, there's three sections to the ad. There's the campaign, and this is kind of like an upside down pyramid. There's the campaign, then there's the ad set, and then there's the ad. I see no reason not to name all three of those sets the same name. So copy 1160 Biscay Card website attendees, and also put it into your ad set and put it into your ad itself. So we said, I wanna drive traffic and I've named the campaign, the ad set and the ad, hit continue. Okay, so here's all three. Here's the campaign, we're in in blue. There's gonna be the ad set and the ad. So right now campaign, 
Remember we said it's a special ad? Okay, so we have to declare that. If you don't declare, if you skip this and you go straight through and put in a housing type ad, Facebook in review will kick it out. We'll not allow it to run. It'll say you violated our policy of special ads and it'll say go back in and edit and modify. So you may as well do it up front. You're gonna click housing. Okay, cool. Um, what you're gonna do is our campaign objective is traffic. That's great. We're not gonna do an A and a B test, meaning you run two different ads, you know, to see, you know, which one's gonna do better. Uh, I don't think you need to do budget optimization. So again, with that, click next. You're now in the blue section, you're now in the ad set. So the name comes through as we had before. It says, choose where you want to drive traffic. You'll enter the details. You'll enter the HTTPS destination later on. But right now, we're telling them, go to a website, not to an app, not to a messenger, not WhatsApp, but send people to a website. Cool. And then what we're gonna do is our budget. If you're not familiar, in order for me to get that 2,200 people, I spent $200 since June. So July, August, so for two months. So I probably spent about $100 a month capturing 2,200 people. So I, I don't, if I was a realtor, I don't consider that to be really a bad thing. So depending upon what you want, you can go as low as say $5. So if we went, no, I'll, I'll, I, I'll leave it at 20 because I'm gonna run this ad. But I mean, you don't, you, it, it, that's your daily budget. And I'm gonna run it for a week. And so seven times that, that's 140. Uh, let's, let's back it down. Maybe I'll do $10 for right now. So I'm gonna, that's gonna cost me about $70. The start date is today, September the 11th. And I optional, an end date. It's more than optional. You definitely need to put an end date. Otherwise, Facebook will run it every single day and every day you'll be getting you'll be getting billed. So you click set an end date and you can put in your month, day and year. And you know, we're today is September the 11th, run it for a week. Ad runs all the time. Ad scheduling is only available with uh, lifetime budgets. Okay, great, we don't, we don't need to do that. So all we're doing is putting in our daily budget of 10, start and end date. And then what we're gonna do is, again, if this was remarketing, see where it says custom audiences, we'd be putting in our custom audience, that 2,200 or that 849 or that three or 400 people. And we can put in as many custom audiences as we want here. But today it's a brand new ad. So I'm gonna put in a new audience and the location by default is the United States. Thus, it says right now in my pool, I have 230 million people in my pool that's gonna see the ad. Well, that's ridiculous. I don't want people from New Mexico, which I cannot service, you know, you know so I'm, I'm gonna go, I want to edit the location. I'm gonna X out the United States. I'm gonna add in The house is, in, I would put in the city your house is located in. This is in Aurora, Illinois. When you see it come up in blue, click it. Notice Facebook restricts it to 15 miles. That's part of the special ad definition. This used to be you could go out to 50 miles. No, you can't, not anymore. Not with, if it's a housing ad, the most you can do is go 15 miles. But now if you wanted to capture, say, people are leaving the city of Chicago, quite a bit with all the unrest and the, and the civil disorder. So what you could do is you got one circle here. You see this drop pin, left click it, move it up, and let's do another 15 mile circle. circle. I, got, I don't want it to go in the water because that's a waste of, of time, but why, why don't we go here and maybe what I can do is I can capture some people that are 
in the western suburbs of Chicago and Chicago, so click it. And now I've got two circles. I've got Aurora 15 miles and I got this other one and it says I've got 4,900 people. Not bad, I like that. It's got a nice green, the audience definition is, is good. So very cool. So then down here, age, I can't change that because again, it's a housing, age is 18 to 65 plus. Everybody gets to see it. Gender, everybody gets to see it, no discrimination. Um, detailed targeting. Um, you could, if you wanted to, go into detail targeting and start saying, um, I want people only who are looking in for luxury homes. I don't think you need to do that when it's a listing. Let everybody see it. I mean, they're ultimately gonna see the price. They're ultimately gonna see you know, the, the benefits and the beauties of it. Um, they're either gonna say, this is something that I, I'm interested in or not, or that I can afford or not. So you don't need to go into detail mar marketing, uh, targeting. Um, then, as far as placements, always make sure it's automatic versus manual. Manual means you're smarter than Facebook's computer. That means you, if you click manual, that means you got to put in the time of day in the morning, at lunchtime, and in the evening when you think it's busiest within Facebook. You guys got better things to do. Let the Facebook computers, they will place your ad when Facebook is the busiest. And when is it the busiest? Well, it's in the morning before people get to work. What's going on in my world? What's going on with my people? At lunchtime, hey, what's going on amongst friends, etc. What are we doing after work? And then in the evening, you know, they're also talking about, you know, what's going on in the world and with their friends. And so um, let Facebook take care of it. Then we're trying to optimize for ad delivery. Okay, um, it, they're giving us a, a hint here, optimize for landing page views. Since your pixel shares information about web traffic, Optimize for landing page views to drive more people to your site. Okay, so when I do the drop down, I can either link clicks. The link is the website itself. I love it. The HTTPS 1160biscaycourt.greatcustomhome.com. That's the URL of your listing. However, it's saying, why don't you go to landing pages? Because if you look at what landing pages says, we'll deliver your ads to people who are more likely to click on your ads link the link to 1160biscaycourt.greatcustomhome.com and wait and load the website, which means it'll load the website and it'll drop down the pop-up form. So we want landing page views. Thank you for the, uh, the tip, Facebook, and we'll do that. You don't need to do cost control. You already said you're spending $10 a day for seven days. Okay. So with this, we're gonna click next and we're moving on to the third section. We did campaign, ad set, now we're in the blue called the ad itself. Okay, so for the ad itself, um, let's go over to the name here. You need to have a business page. Now, this is in a different class, I'm not gonna go through it now. But you could have put in, you know, this says 1160 Biscay Court. I highly recommend, there is one of my classes, I think it's six or seven, uh, class six or seven, when you look at the recordings, that says how to create a Facebook listing page. I like the house itself, 1160 Biscay Court, to be the sponsor. It's a business page. I put up the, I do, you'll see in that class, I post the property website. I post the YouTube virtual tour. I post how to get pre-approved for this house. So there's really some cool posts, but I also through that I do events, which are called open houses. So again, look at that class for that. You, this will either be your Facebook listing page, business page, 1160 Biscay, or it'll be um, Steve Tassi Realtor, your business page. Either one is gonna be appropriate, but you have to have a business page to do an ad. If you happen to have an Instagram account, you can then, click on it and you can log in and the ad will also go to Instagram. I'm gonna leave it alone right now. I do have an Instagram, but I'm not gonna log into it. All right, my suggestion is do a single image. Um, you know, and, and let's, let's get the best image possible 
to tease them that they would want to know or see more pictures, more images. So let's go to single image. And what we're going to do is we're going to add media. Okay, so when we click on add media, we're going to add an image. And if your image is not already, these, this, when it says add an image, this is the pictures that you have in your Facebook library. Now, I happen to have pictures of 1160 already in here. Let's assume you don't. It's a brand new listing of yours. All you have to do is make sure that you put a picture of the front of the house on your desktop. You will click upload. You will then go to your computer and you know whether it's your desktop, whether you've got them in a folder, or whether you got it somewhere on the left side here called pictures, you're gonna find the front of the house, a kitchen picture, something that you really, really like and you're gonna hit open, and it is then going to upload into your Facebook library. I happen to like the kitchen, so I'm gonna go with the kitchen picture for today's class, highlight it. it this is how it's gonna look in different forms. Okay, hit continue. Okay, I'm going to continue. I, I want to look at the different feeds. I want to look at, I want to look at, that's Instagram, that's Marketplace, the news feed. News feed is the, the big fat feed. It's on your, on your, on your, uh, in your Facebook. So this is what it's gonna look like in my, in my feed. And so then what you're gonna do is your primary text is what goes up here above the picture. And then the, the headline is what goes below the picture. So again, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to give them enough information to tease them to want to come back and get more information. Uh, I want them to click the learn more button because under the learn more button, we're going to put the website itself, the, the property website, such that then when they land on it, we're going to get it, we're going to capture them in the custom audience. So we're going to go here with four bedroom. Four and a half bathroom. Brick and cedar home. And let's give them let's give them the area where it's in. In this would be Aurora, or you know, in this case, it's Stonebridge Country Club. in Aurora, Illinois. So again, you would probably kick out Stonebridge Country Club and you might just say something about your, your home, the, give them the bedrooms, the bathrooms, um, and in Aurora, Illinois. And what you do is give them a little teaser, stunning. And again, I, we'll see whether or not we're gonna keep all this in there. Stunning, elegant, with many upgrades. Click, learn more, 
for more pictures. Virtual tour. In price. Okay. Now, I'll tell you what I don't like about it so far is that uh, I want that click more to be in there sooner because they may not click the see more button. I want them to, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to change the, the position here. I'm going to click, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, I got, I've got it here, but now let's, this is in the news feed. What I also like to do is look at it in mobile application. So let's see if we can find mobile. Here's mobile. What I'm looking for is I'm looking to make sure that the click more button is self evident so that when somebody sees it, that you know they, they don't have to go to the see more for more information. Now, let's, let's continue down. Now under the headline, like we're going to hit them over the head again with, we want them to click learn more, which they see to the right hand side, to see all the beauty. and features of this stunning home. Too many ends. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. It's not updating here, but it will update. Believe me, this where it says product or service, it will update and it will be below the picture. This click learn more to see all the beauty and features. Next is gonna say, where are you sending them to? This learn more button, where, when they click it, where do you wanna send them to? We wanna send them to a website. That website happens to be this www.1160biscaycourt, greatcustomhome.com. That's your property website that has the Facebook pixel in it. So copy it, go back to your Facebook, add, paste, okay. Preview, we can preview the URL. Look, finally came back. You see where it says down here, click learn more to see all the beauty and features. Cool, they can click learn more. Up here, click learn more. We're getting everybody to click learn more because it says down here, the call to action button. When they click learn more, they're going to this URL. And we can even preview it. If we click preview it, where's it going? It's going right there and it's gonna drop down and say, continue to have a great visit, but first give us your name, email, and your phone number. Okay, cool. So we've got, our headline in, we've got our text up here, primary text, we got the learn more button, 
we've got it loaded up that it's going to go to our property website. The property website has our Facebook pixel in it. We have our custom audience set up. So every time somebody goes to, for example, the two times I've gone so far, I'm, my, my Facebook ID is being captured in there. And by the way, Facebook doesn't capture duplicate Facebook IDs. So if Glenn goes there two, three times, it only will sh I only go into the custom audience just once. So again, um, and here's the cool thing down here, tracking. Facebook tells you whether or not it recognizes that your landing page, remember we put it in up here, HTTP 1160biscuitcourt.greatcustomhome.com, that was our property website that has the Facebook pixel in it. Facebook down here tells us whether or not they see it. They said, hey, we've gone to that URL. We found this pixel in there. It's got a green light. It's got a check mark. It's basically saying you are good to go. So with that, I can hit publish and I will because it's going to go into, it's going to take my credit card and off we go. It's going to publishing one, two, three things, campaign, ad set, add itself. And once it goes through the publishing, it should come back and say, it's in review. So if I close this out, and here's the, here's the new ad, it says it's in draft. And I'm confident that it will go to in review shortly. And then after that, it's gonna, they're gonna send me a email that says that they have approved my ad. So again, great way to take your listings, creating a property website that then becomes the landing page that you put the Facebook pixel in that you can then do a Facebook ad and start sending thousands of people to that and spend, you know, spend five dollars a day. That's thirty-five dollars. Again, you're trying to sell something that's worth thousands of dollars. You're going to make five thousand dollars or more in commission. You may as well spend a couple hundred dollars getting thousands of people to land on this landing page, because even though one person, remember this, one person buys it, all the other people have had some interest in real estate. Why did they click on learn more if they didn't have some level of interest in real estate? and now you get to remarket to them. So um, I'm going to just show you some, you know, some samples of remarketing ads. Um, you saw me walk through how to do the Facebook ad and it's gonna be very similar, but let's take a look at now that this is running, uh, I could take and put in, remember I have 2,200 people in a custom audience. So what I can do is I can remarket to those people and see if they would like a showing of, of the house. Um, let's take a look to see if I can give you an idea of what that might look like. Here's an example. Here's 1160 Biscay Court. I created a landing page within Agent Marketing because again, remember the four steps. The first step is create a landing page before you do the Facebook ad. So here I created this really cool landing page. Uh, I used the same template that I used for the $10,000 as I did for the 1%. So in the previous class in class seven, where it showed you how to create landing pages, I created this. Again, I'll send this out to you. It's kind of kind of cool. Four bedroom home for sale in Aurora, Illinois, in Stonebridge. Stunning, elegant, full of upgrades, moving ready. See all the beauty and the features by signing up for a, a private showing today. This could be your home. And boom, boom, boom. Name, email, phone number, hit submit. Okay, so I have a landing page. Okay. And the, from the landing page, um, I'm not trying to capture more people. I'm trying to get the people that I have captured to take some, to take some action. So I might want to set up an ad that talks about um, 
them seeing all the beauty. In fact, let's do that. We've got time here. Let's, let's do the, the remarketing ad to these 2,200 people and see what, it, what it's going to look like. So again, let's go back over here. I have so one quick question. Yes. Um, does every uh, lead go to you? Or does every, la every time that somebody clicks on a landing page, does it get copied to you? Not at all. Is I mean, that only on certain templates that that does that? Yeah, it, well, I shouldn't say that. It, on the templates, they come to us. For example, um, the ones that you created in, there's nine different templates within agent marketing. And we're using uh, one of the templates um, to create our landing pages, the, like the one for the 1% or the $10,000. Even this one for uh, 1160 Biscay, which says, would you, like to, would you like a private showing? Those templates within agent marketing, those will come to us if they fill them out. So there's two different people here. The people that fill it out, say there's a handful of those people when you do a Facebook ad, you know, three, four, 10 people. Those people, you'll get an email notification and a text message. We on our end will get the same thing, an email and a text, and then we'll coordinate with the realtor and introduce ourselves as being part of their team and seeing if we can't get them into you know, understanding how they could buy a home, let's say for 1% of the purchase price. For the people that go to your custom audience, for all the people that go to the landing page, but don't fill it out. So that means you didn't get an email text, we didn't get an email and text. We see nothing, that, none of that, because that's, that's captured in your Facebook account. We have no means of getting inside your Facebook account. So does that make any sense? Yes, so if we use a template and they fill it out, you get copied on that. But if it's something that we remarket through uh, Facebook, then only we have access to that. That is correct. Thank you. And again, if you need if you need help with that, you you, you call me and we do a Zoom meeting and we'll you know I'll help I'll help help get you over any of the, the hurdles. But yeah, I, I won't be able to see nor market to any of those people that you capture. So if you captured say five hundred people in a custom audience, we would not be able to see that. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You bet. So what we're we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to uh, Facebook again and we're gonna do an ad. So let me get over here, see what this is. Okay, cool, this gets me there. I'm gonna hit create. I'm gonna create an ad. And this is gonna be my remarketing ad. And again, remember I said it's like a baseball field, first, second, third base. You know, we already did the home plate, we already did an ad, and I ran it several times and I got 2,200 people now in that custom audience. So what I want to do is I do want to run them to, through traffic. I want traffic again, and I want them to go to this landing page. And I'm going to stop here for a second because, again, I want to refresh everybody's memory. If you look at these four steps again, first thing it says, create a landing page. I want to show you the landing page, even though I showed you a picture of it. Let's see the real landing page in Agent Marketing. So let's go over here. Uh, let's go over here. The, your landing pages are under leads. Remember we said they're squeeze pages, same thing as landing pages. And here it is, 1160 Biscay showing. So when I look at that, um, this would be kind of cool to show you. How do you, how do you get this picture down here in, in, your, in your landing page? Because um, again, your background from first class, you know, it has a bunch of different, if I, if I don't use the custom image, I have, these are the images that you can that are, they call them stock images. And a lot of people will use maybe, you know, something like this. Okay, cool. But, you know, isn't it better if it's your listing and it's your customer and the seller to put their house as the backdrop to your landing page? I think so. So again, if I go back here and I say, I want to do a custom image, um, what I do is I take the front, of, well, whatever picture you think is best represents the house. The front of the house, a kitchen picture, those are usually the, the, the one-two punches. 
you can even ask your customer, what do you, which one do you like the best? And then from there, what I do is I go to, I, I, I take the picture, I put it on my desktop, and I upload it to Google Photos. Yeah, I did go to Google Photos. And I was hoping it would open up to where I had it. So I got to go down here to July. So I got to see all my photos and my grandson. Okay, we're in July. So I did it sometime in July. Here it is. Okay, so here's the front of the house. I uploaded it into Google Images. Again, you see this upload button here in the upper right corner, just click upload, and it'll say, where's the picture you wanna upload, and now it'll store your pictures for you. So, great, great, great. Then what I do is I click on the photo, and I click on the options, and Back up. Not that way, back up. On the picture itself, if I right click on the picture, uh, click, click, click. No, go, go open it up big. Right click on the picture. Do you see where it says copy the image address? So once you have it up in Google Images, open it up, make it big, and then right click and click. Copy the image address. Okay, once you do that, then when you go back over here to your website itself, and I think we're here. When you're here doing the edit or the modification to it, changing your background, you click custom image and you paste in. There's the Google, that's, that's what you copied at Google Images and you paste it in there. And when you do that, it saves the image as your background. I think that's very cool. Uh, I, I would want that if I was the seller at you know, 1160 Biscayne Court, I want a showing. It's easy to get started. Fill in the information below so we can arrange for your private showing and then giving them some more information down here. Again, I'll send this out to everybody because I'm not gonna spend the time you know, making these modifications, but I thought at least the picture is is really is really something you guys should know how to do when you're creating your landing pages. So any image that you want, just go upload it into Google Images and then right click the big picture and copy the address and put it in there and click save. Okay, so we have the landing page. And this is where we wanna send people who that, to that, the 22,000 people, and the 2,200 2, people. So we're gonna go to Facebook, And we're going to do a, we want to drive traffic to that landing page. And we're going to call, we're going to name the, we're going to name it. We're going to call it. I actually did one already, so I'm going to do this. Remarket number two, 1160 Biscay Court. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it into my ad set and I'm going to put it into my ad itself. It makes it unique because again, if you have 24 listings, you want to make sure you know which, which one am I on? Am I remarketing one, remarketing two, remarketing three? What's the address of the property? You know, just so each one's unique. Hit continue. With that, you're at, now you're at the first level, the campaign, the ad set, the ad campaign. What's the name of it? Is it a special ad category? Absolutely, it's housing, click on it. Then you're gonna come down here. We're not gonna do an A-B test. And we're gonna click next. Done with the campaign. Now we're going to number two, ad set. 
Ed Set's already been named. We want to send it to a website. They'll ask us later for the, for the URL for the website. Uh, the budget, um, let's do $5 a day. So that's my daily budget. Start today and a week from now. Okay, so I got seven days. So that should be just fine. Um, now, remember we had create new audience, use saved audience, or use a custom audience. So I'm gonna go search existing audiences. And so what I'm looking for is, notice I'm on this one here and Facebook's telling me off to the side here, the size is 2,200 people. This is the one I want. So I'm gonna click on this one. So now it's just, and again, it, it's, it's asking if I want any, any more. Again, if you have 10 custom audiences, put them all in, put them all in. You know, I mean, in this case, I don't have more property custom audiences, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, it's, it's uh, again, the, the location is, I'm trying not to restrict, you know, if, if somebody is, who clicked on it is from uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, well then maybe the United States would be fine. But again, it's not likely. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna have, I'm gonna edit the location. I don't want everybody in the United States who might be in that 2200. Uh, it really should be people that are in, say the Aurora area in 15 miles like we had before. And it should be, I'm gonna use the pin drop again. And it's gonna be, you know, people that are in the Chicagoland area. Boom, okay. And Facebook is telling me that I should reach about 100 to 300 people a day with my $5 a day. And I should get two to 11 people that click and might, you know, might want a showing. Hope they, I hope they fill it out. Um, so with that, I've got my audience, um, age, gender, I'm not changing detail. Uh, let Facebook automatically place it when it's busiest, morning, noon, and night. Um, link clicks, um, I could do, you know, I could do landing page views, because again, it is gonna go to a landing page. So let's go to landing page views. And with that, let's go to, in fact, landing page views got me a bigger reach and, and a few more people that, that might uh, view the landing page. That's great, click next. Now I'm into the ad itself. Remarket number two, the sponsor's gonna be 1160 Biscay Court, could be your realtor business page. Um, Single image, let's upload an image. Again, if you didn't have it in your Facebook library, click upload, upload the image into your library. Uh, let's do a kitchen picture. Hit continue. Okay, again, remember what we said before, the primary text is what's above. So again, what we might wanna do here is give them again, that is a four bedroom, four and a half bath. At this point in time, you wanna make sure that, you know, are they, you know, it's not, I wanted to see the beauty of this. So I'm not trying to necessarily hide the price or the location. I just want to see who wants a showing of this. So for, for a bathroom home in Aurora, Illinois. 
given the price at this time. 739.9. I'm just trying to tell them it includes an in-ground swimming pool. I'm going to spell it right first. Many upgrades. Click. You know, I may have to move this sentence again. Click learn more to schedule your private showing. And I may take out the word private. Okay, so let's see how this blocks out. Over here is where we're going to see the preview. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to move it. I want them to know that it's for scheduling a showing. So I'm going to cut this. I'm going to put it right after the price. Paste it. Okay, so let's see what we got here as it blocks out. What I would do is I would give them, so, so there's your private showing. Um, they can even go to the land, you know, they can go to the property website itself by, by again, you would, turn off remember we did that required form we went into the property website we clicked uh, the edit pencil we clicked on the uh, website and we said required form you would go back to none so that the pop-up form does not come down and then you're allowing all these people there's 2200 people they never saw the house they all they got was the pop-up form they said ah, i'm not gonna i'm not giving you the information so what you might want to do is you might take here um i'm going to take this out for a quick second and say click and now go to the website itself if we can find it there it is copy it let's go back to facebook And let's paste. So now what you can do is after class, I'll turn off the pop-up form so that they can actually see this, this. In fact, I'm going to see if I can even take out the word click. I don't know if it's going to show. Let's take out the word click. Nope. So I'm looking over here is I'm trying to you know, see is get as much in here as possible so that they can either click learn more for their private showing, which is the most important, and then they can click see more. And then we're going to say uh, click. This then to see all the beauty and features of this home. 
And we're almost done. Okay. So they'll, if they go to see more, they'll be able to see the link. But the most important thing is, you know, we want them to click learn more to schedule their showing. The headline down below is going to be the same thing. Click learn more. to schedule your showing. I'm gonna make it bold. Click learn more to schedule your private showing. Okay, with that, the destination is our landing page that we created. So let's go get let's go get the landing page. Here's our landing page that we created in Agent Marketing. Again, I just showed you how to put the picture in. And in class 7A or last week's class, you'll be able to see how to create this landing page. So I'm gonna come over here. That is not the URL that I want. Let's go to our squeeze pages, click on 1160 Biscay showing. There's the URL. Copy it. Go back over here to your Facebook. Paste the URL in there. That's where we're driving people to. It says great. Now remember it says pay, remember before the pixel was there? We don't care about the pixel on the remarket. We're not trying to capture people. We already captured them. We all, this, this is going out to 2,200 people. We're fine that we don't have the Facebook pixel. So don't worry about it. This is just a warning. Hey, you didn't put a pixel in there. That's okay. The learn more button is great. Under the learn more button will be that landing page now. So when this goes out to people, to those 2,200 people, it's going to say four bedroom, four and a half bath home in Aurora. 739, click learn more to schedule your private showing. Click, and then if they want to see what that means, click. They click see more. It'll give them the website. They can go there. They can see the, uh, the virtual open house, so to speak, the photo gallery, the virtual tour, and we go from there. Click publish. So, um, again, this will go into uh, review with Facebook. I'll get an email and a text message, not, not an email, text, but I'll get an email later on uh, telling them that I have, um, I have an ad that has been approved. Um, any questions at this point in time? Because you guys have been great. We're about four minutes over. But I wanted you to understand that the Facebook Pixel is a great way to be capturing people that don't fill out your landing pages. We've gone through a lot here within Facebook. We said, hey, post daily for five minutes. Hey, I want you to share it. Get some more, get, you know, get three, four, 500 people. Go into lots of different groups, but share your posts. From there, messenger, messenger people every day, letting them know more about, you know, your products, your services. And then, you know, then do Facebook ads, but don't just do ads. Do ads that, you know, that where your landing pages have the Facebook pixel because not everybody's gonna fill out your landing page. And then start remarketing to people and see if the, and, and creating new landing pages to see if you can't get people to schedule listings or to have a meeting with you or to have a conversation with you regarding $10,000, how to buy for 1%, what is their home worth? There's all sorts of things you guys can do. So thank you for being here today.